very much. Thank you, Emma. Thank you very much. And you're right. Emma, I've got to say, thank you very much. I've got to say, you're absolutely right, Emma. When I hold those receptions at Downing Street and when I get the people who've got start-up loans coming into Downing Street and telling me what they've done, often giving up a well-paid career, taking a risk, having a punt, having a go, that pumps me up. And it's what is changing our country. Because there is an entrepreneurial, small business revolution taking place in Britain. And I want to start today with a very big thank you. A thank you to all of you. A thank you to the small businesses, to the entrepreneurs, to the techies, to the roof tilers, to the retailers, to the plumbers, to the builders. I want to thank you. Because you know what you've done these last five years? You know what you've done in terms of jobs? You've created 2.2 million private sector jobs. That's more than the rest of the European Union put together. That's a record you can all be proud of. You want to know what you've done these last five years? You have engineered the biggest economic turnaround in Europe. We inherited an economy that was on the brink in terms of debt, where people were out of work, businesses were closing, homes were being repossessed. You are responsible for that turnaround. The small businesses, the startups, the entrepreneurs, the people who work and graft. And you're responsible for something else. You're responsible for the inspiration that we all draw from the values that you hold to. The values of hard work, the values of enterprise, the values of graft, of putting in, of believing that reward follows effort. So a really big thank you for what you've done. Now, we've got 10 days to go before the most important election of a generation. And this morning, 5,000 businesses from right across the country wrote in to say that they want the team that is helping to drive this business revolution, the successful economy, to complete the job of work we're doing. Those 5,000 people and me, I think we've got one thing in common. We know that the economy is everything. The economy isn't lines on a graph or words in a book or you know, just some technical presentation from Robert Peston on the BBC. The economy is about jobs. The economy is the pay packet you take home at the end of the month. The economy is about the dreams we've got for our children and a better life. The economy is the good school we want for our children. It's the hospital bed we want when we're ill. That is what the economy is all about. That's what this election is all about. And at the heart of the economy is small business and enterprise and the people who take those risks to get a business up and running. And people want to know, people want to know who I'm in it for, what I want it for. Well, let me tell you what I want it for. I want it for the small business that works around the clock to build something, employ people and make a success. I want it for the people who put their lives on their line for their family. I want it for those who go out and work hard to get that security for their family, to make the most of their lives. I want it for people who look at their children and think, I want them to have the chance to make the success of all the talent that they've got. That's what I want it for. That's what it's about. And when I see those people, those who work hard, who do the right thing, that is what this election is all about. You are the magic ingredient to the recovering economy. And I know that we've got just 10 days to make sure that magic ingredient and that recovering economy keeps delivering the jobs we want, keeps delivering the growth we need, keeps delivering for the public services we want to provide. And if you think I'm going to roll over in the next 10 days and let Ed Miliband and Alex Salmon rack that, you've got another thing coming. We've got a fight on our hands, and we're going to win that fight. We've got a battle. It is a battle for the backbone of Britain. That's what this election is about. And as we launch today, this, our small business manifesto, let's remember all that we've done. Now, I know who is responsible for this. I don't go around saying that the government creates jobs. I know who creates jobs. It's you that create jobs. It's businesses that create jobs. And you've created 2.2 million private sector jobs. But all the while, we have tried to work in partnership with you. You said to me, you wanted a partner that listened and a partner that would act. You said we need those taxes cut so we can create the jobs and the wealth. So we cut those taxes, including the lowest rate of corporation tax anywhere in the Western world. You said we need reform of planning. We can't turn a shop into an office or an office into a home or a home into a flat or a flat into an office. We need to clear all that out of the way. And we did that. You said 
that we need to make it easier to employ people. So we cut those national insurance contributions. For the first time ever, we gave that employment allowance so you get £2,000 off uh, for your national insurance bill. And yes, you told us something else. You said employees have rights and we're a civilised and advanced country, and of course employees have rights, but businesses have rights too, not to be sued to death by people who've only worked there for a few months and we changed those tribunal rules, and that's right, and it's created jobs in our country. We agreed as partners we needed to make more things. We needed to export more things. And that's why we filled up plane loads of businesses, large and small, and taken them all over the world, doubling our exports to China in the process. You said, and we agreed, we needed to do more to encourage the entrepreneur, to encourage the startup, to let people have that chance of starting out on their own. And with start up loans, we've had 25,000 people in receipt of those loans starting up businesses. We've got 750,000 more businesses in our country than we had five years ago. So think of all the things that we've done. Think of all the changes that we've made. You said, above all, you needed a government that lived within its means. You needed a government that got on top of the deficit. Why? Not just to make the numbers go in the right direction, but you need the stability, you need the security, you need those low interest rates. You want a pro-business enterprise environment. That's what we've delivered. And as I said yesterday, people who say, well, this economic stability, this economic security is boring. Well, I don't think it's boring. It's the most important thing for economy to generate the jobs and the growth and the livelihoods and pay for the public services we need. Never take economic stability and economic security for granted. And as long as I'm your prime minister, I'll never take those things for granted. Yeah. And, let's... and let's be clear. Let's be clear today about something else. All these changes that we've made together in partnership, the taxes we've cut, the rates that we've frozen, the employment changes that we've made, the businesses that we've boosted, all those things are at risk. Even as we speak, the trade unions are saying to the Labour Party, those tribunal changes, they've got to go. Those taxes that have taken five years to cut, they could be put back up in five minutes in a budget. Those changes to regulation that we've made, five years patient work. This government, the first in post-war history, that finishes with less regulation at the end of the parliament than there was at the beginning. All of those changes could be undone in just a few months. Labour think they know how to spend your money better than you do. They will put up your taxes. Labour think they know how to run your businesses better than you do. They will put up your regulations. You know what they call you? They say business is a predator. This is not some Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. This is what we're staring down the barrel of in 10 days' time if we don't get out there and fight for jobs and fight for enterprise and fight for our economy. And that's what we're going to do. And there is... There is so much more to do. We have only just started the work we need to build the economy of the future we need here in Britain. And so many of the ideas in this manifesto will help. So much more to do. We've cut regulation, but we're setting a new target of £10 billion less regulation in the next parliament. We made it easier to employ people with that national insurance cut. We're going to keep that for the whole of the next parliament. We know we've made some progress on rates, but not enough progress on rates, so we're going to review rates and help many more businesses on our high street that are striving and grafting and trying to do their best. We know there's more to do on exports. We've doubled exports to China, we've increased exports around the world, but still more of our small businesses need that help to get out into those markets and sell, and we will do that. We've made big progress on tax, and we guarantee if we're in government, we keep the lowest business tax rates anywhere in the G20 because we know when we save you tax, you put that money into investment, into jobs, into progress, into the growth we need in our country. Yes, we've done well on startups, 25,000 startup loans. We're going to treble that number in the next parliament. I want this to be the startup nation in Europe and one of the great startup nations of the world. That is what this is about. And let's accept those areas where we're still not strong enough. We're great for a startup country. It's good to get finance here in Britain. And we're great for businesses that want to come here to the city of London and float. But what about in between? What about those businesses that want to get through the valley of death? that need to raise that extra money, that want to expand from being small to medium-sized and go on. We haven't done well enough there, and we will with our help to grow plan. 
And that is the ambition. I want us to be the startup nation. It's clearly set out here. Our ambition is to be the best country in Europe to start to grow a business. And we want to be in the top five anywhere in the world. That is the ambition. I promise to you, small businesses, startups, sole traders, we will come back month after month, year after year, and report on the progress that we're making. But do you know what the ambition is? The ambition is not just to be a pro-business, pro-enterprise, pro-jobs, pro-growth country. The ambition is to be a country based on the right values, on the values of work, on the values of effort, on the values of reward following that effort. That is what we need to succeed. So if you dream of going on your own and starting a business, I am on your side. If you want to get out there and work and provide for your family and build a better life, I am on your side. If you get up before dawn and you know it's going to take a lot of effort to build that business, to get that money for your family, but you want to put in before you get out, I am on your side. If you're stuck on welfare but you want a better chance, you want a better life, you want to get out there and work, I am on your side. Those are the values we need to make our economy a success, to build on the success of this country. And I would just say this to all of you and to all those people at home who are thinking of how to make that choice in the next 10 days' time. I would say this. Those of you who've worked hard, those of you who've put in, those of you who want to build something, you have been in a fight. You fought for jobs. You fought for our recovery. You kept people on in the difficult times. You're building this country. You fought for Britain. And I will always fight for you as your Prime Minister, knowing the economy comes first. There's nothing without a strong economy. You can have all the plans and all the dreams and all the policies and all the ideas in the world. They don't amount to a row of beans unless you've got a strong economy. That's what we've got in Britain. That's what you've all built these last five years. Don't put it at risk. Don't put it to waste. Get out there and fight. We can win. Thank you very much. Yeah.